Hello friends, in this project we are going to work with chart. So first of all let's create the background. Let's create a rectangle using the rectangle tool and we are going to have say this background. Later we can change it also. Now we will have a chart. So yeah, let's work with this pie chart. Let's draw a small chart. This is the one, right? So let's write as a design. Oops. Development. WordPress, PSD to HTML. Let's click on the stick. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, here we need to have. Okay, let me delete this one. Now, here we need to have some values, right? So, let's write as say 80%, 90. 80 70 now let's click on tick and now we need to transpose this row and column now apply and there you go yep okay Now, what was your task? Remember, we need to change each of these colors. But how? Let's select the direct selection tool. And first of all, let's select this black. Okay, first of all, you need to deselect everything. Now, just select only this pie chart. Yeah, first you need to deselect everything so just click anywhere outside this uh, chart and now let's make its color say this one or say this one yeah and remember to change it here also yeah <laughs> next this this color this was white right let's make it red this one let's make it uh, red this one let's make it green and this one let's just make it yellow Okay, I'm thinking to change the background color now. Let's make it cyan. Yeah, okay. So it's uh, red, green, blue and this one we are going to make it this blue. Yeah. So yeah. Now you can close this chart and now let's just select one and let's drag it like this let's drag it like this and see it's fun right now select the chart right click click on type and legend let's make it legends in wages click on ok and see there you go now again using uh, the direct selection tool you can change the position of these texts you can even make it white if you wish 
see now another thing let's press ctrl z uh, so yeah it was black that's kind of uh, fine only now we are going to provide a 3d look to these charts and let's see how we can do that so let's go to the effects panel 3d extrude and bevel i know that we haven't covered this 3d section but what you can do is you can take a look at that 3d section or you can cover this lecture after that section also so you can so what you can do is you can just skip this lecture for now and uh, i mean you already got the idea of uh, how we can separate these pie charts and how we can work with each of them individually right and uh, what you can do is you can skip this lecture for now you can carry on with other lectures and uh, by doing all of these at last we'll be having that 3d section just take a look at that section and then you can again come back here to take a look at this 3d chart okay so first of all you will see this window popping up let's check the preview option it's here and uh, here is the box so first we are working with this one right let's try to rotate it just like this and since it is placed like this so we want it to be placed like this only so just take a look here we are rotating the cube yeah we are going to keep it like this or something like this yeah okay yeah let's make it like this only and surface plastic shading that's it now just click on okay that's it it's not that hard select this design one this red one go to the effect menu 3d extrude and bevel preview and let's make it like this yep now just click on ok select this one go to effect 3d extrude and bevel check the preview option let's make it no shading first but why it's full black yeah okay let's click on okay but it shouldn't be this color right let's change it to something else why it's showing like this let's go to effect 3d extrude and bevel let's apply some new effect now first of all let's uh, undo it or you can also go to the appearance palette this is the one extrude and bevel is applied here yeah uh, this appearance palette also is explained later so if you are thinking that it's too much complex you can skip it for now and you can cover this lecture afterwards also no hurry yes friend make it plastic shading okay yeah now just click on okay and this is the yellow one let's go to effect 3d extrude and bevel check the preview option yeah there you go just click on ok that's it guys now you can keep it here like this and again you can design another chart 
this time a column graph chart let's make it very small again let's be too quick this time there you go now how you can change these colors you need to select each of them using the red selection tool and change the color So that's it guys now even you can make these 3d how effect 3d extrude and bevel check the preview option just like this you need to make sure that this one is zero degree okay just click on okay again select this one effect 3d extrude and bevel this one should be zero check the preview option oops okay yeah this one is also looking nice let's click on okay and just like this you need to change these one by one that's it so this is how you can create your charts your pie charts or your graphic charts your infographic charts <laughs> yeah so this is zero degree zero degree seven minus four that's fine zero let's change it okay yeah effect 3d extrude and bevel check the preview option this one zero this one seven and this one minus four hit ok let's change this one also zero seven minus four this one zero seven minus four minus four so yeah now all of these are fine even you can create some spacings if you wish yeah okay so that's it guys here in this project we have seen how we can work with charts more efficiently and how we can provide some 3d effects to it to make it look lot nicer isn't it okay guys so that's it here i am concluding this project 
see you in the next project till then have fun take care